China has struck back against President Trump's recent tariffs on Chinese imports. Over the weekend, the United States' biggest trading partner released a list of more than 100 American goods now facing a 15 to 25 percent tariff. Manila Chan is following the story and brings us the latest details. Well, the president's got a couple of wars going on here, one with Amazon and now one with China. And we will talk about both of those, Ed. This is where we're really beginning to see just how much the president's actions have a direct effect on the markets. China has just released a comprehensive list of American products, which will be slapped with high tariffs, ranging, like Ed said, 15% all the way up to 25%. Products that are primarily agricultural goods, like apples and oranges, watermelons, all the way up to modified ethanol. But what was striking to me were products like wine and steel and pork. Uh, hog farmers in states like Iowa, which Trump won handily, will be affected by these tariffs. China and some of those people are major places we export pork. Well, yeah. if we can't get rid of it, we can't get rid of it in the United States, our market's going to go down. Now, as the Chinese middle class grows, they've been seeing a demand for American pork and more American steel as they continue their building and infrastructure boom. China's growing taste for wine has also driven demand, especially from wine producers in California. But the Trump effect doesn't stop there. Amazon stock seeing a slide thanks to some more Trump tweets. Over the holiday weekend, the president railed on Amazon, first saying this. Quote, I've stated my concerns with Amazon long before the election. Unlike others, they pay little or no taxes to state and local governments, use our postal system as their delivery boy, causing tremendous loss to the U.S., and are putting many thousands of retailers out of business. And later, clarifying, does not include the fake Washington Post, which is used as a lobbyist and should so register. If the post office increased its parcel rates, Amazon's shipping costs would rise by $2.6 billion. This post office scam must stop. Amazon must pay real costs and taxes now. Finally, this morning, saying only fools or worse are saying that our money losing post office makes money with Amazon. They lose a fortune and this will be changed. Also, our fully tax-paying retailers are closing stores all over the country, not a level playing field. So, Ed, we're already, though, hearing a response out of Jeff Bezos denying these allegations levied against Amazon, and the post office is backing that up, saying they are turning profits from Amazon sales. But nonetheless, Trump legislates by tweet. Countries like China are promptly responding and markets stateside move. Now we're awaiting the U.S. to reveal their list of Chinese products that are going to be hit with tariffs due any day now, Ed. Amazon's not breaking any laws. This no. is called the free market. I thought the conservatives liked the free market. This <laughs> right. is a different Donald Trump, no doubt. Thanks, Manila.